What's going on guys? In today's video is our first day delivering food for Grubhub. So we're going to be doing Grubhub for two days. Day number one, we're just going to be doing only Grubhub. And day number two, we're going to fit in, into all of our apps to see how much we can make and how much it compares to each other. Let's see how much we make. So the very first Grubhub that we get is a McDonald's $6.02 for 2.5 miles. Not a bad order at all. That's around $3 per mile. So we're going to go drop this off and see what we got next. So we just got this extremely good $13.50 order going 3.8 miles. It's from Little Asia Bistro. Let's go pick it up. So we got our food. It was about a 10 minute wait. Not too terrible, but not the best. So my first impression of Grubhub so far is there is a lot of high paying orders, but there are a lot of high mileage as well. Compared to DoorDash, DoorDash definitely has less pay, but the mileage is a little bit better and there is more orders. So after one hour, we have made $19.60. Not too bad. Um, we're at a hot spot right now, and I'm not really getting too many orders. It is 7.20 p.m. right now, so it should be dinner shift. I'm gonna show you guys the hot spot that I usually sit at. So this is the shopping area, it's called Mayfair. To the left, there's a movie theater. We're about to go check it out. There's the movie theater. About to go watch Doctor Strange this weekend. So as you can see on the map, this is the Mayfair Town Center. We have a lot of restaurants in this area. We have, this is where Chipotle is at. Also to the top of that road, there's a bunch of restaurants over here as well. So we're gonna camp out here and wait for our next Grubhub order. So I've been waiting for almost 20 minutes now, no Grubhubs. Usually at a time like this, I would be multi-apping and I would be running all four apps. So I would be getting orders throughout these times, but today we're trying to figure out how much we can make with just Grubhub. So we gotta make the sacrifice for the experiment. You're about to see when I multi-app tomorrow that we spend no time waiting. This is kind of new to me, all this waiting stuff. So honestly, I was thinking about just going home cause I was waiting for a half an hour. We get this Zaxby's order right here. Not bad. It's about $1.50 per mile. We could get it done in hopefully 20 minutes. Also, I had a question for you guys. Do you guys think Zaxby's or Raising Cane's is better? Comment in the comment section below. So as you guys could tell earlier, our regular hotspot wasn't working today. So I decided for this Grubhub shift to stay around the college area because they have a higher quantity of orders. They aren't as high paying over here because the college students don't really tip that well. But I decided it'd be a good area to test out Grubhub because of the high concentration of orders. We get this Hibachi Bistro order right here and we're dropping off to this college dorm. Looking like a low quality college dorm, not gonna lie. Lots of cockroaches going around, but hey, if it saves you money, then you can order some food. I was close. Super close. Don't panic. So we're at $45 in our first two and a half hours. Not the greatest, but today was a pretty slow day. I even checked the other apps, and it was pretty slow on them as well. If you enjoyed the video so far, please subscribe and leave a like on the video. I just started my channel, and I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. I'm currently at 170, so any help would be greatly appreciated. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'll upload a DoorDash until 3 a.m. challenge. So like the video if you want to see that. There's a main hot spot that I usually go to. It's all lit up, which is pretty cool. But we gotta turn left because we're heading to our late night hot spot, which is more fast food restaurants like McDonald's, Wendy's, some Bojangles. We're gonna go over there because it is currently 9.09 .09 p.m. right now. In what? So on day number one, we made a total of $56.12 in three and a half hours for an hourly rate of $16.03. Not the greatest, but I would like to say 
that in Grubhub it has this feature where you could schedule shifts. It prioritizes orders given to you if you are scheduled. I was not scheduled for this shift, but I assume that it's probably not the easiest to get scheduled and it probably takes up spaces a lot. This would be a realistic shift, I suppose. Before we see how much we make in day number two, we're gonna watch this Grubhub commercial. Grubhub Perks give you deals on the food you love. The kind of deals that make you boogie. Okay, I don't know who made this shit, but they need to be locked up immediately. Now let's see how much we make in day number two. We're going to be working the same amount of hours, but this time we're going to be using all the delivery apps. So we're back with a Publix order. This one's looking like it's going to take a while, but if we could do it in less than two hours, that's our goal. So we're hitting the store hard because we want to go as fast as humanly possible. We got that protein. We got that extra sharp cheddar cheese. We got some Greek yogurt. We got some turkey bacon. Seems like this guy wants to eat healthy. We're in and out of the store in about an hour, and I want to drop these two orders off in less than 30 minutes. Check out this house that I dropped off to. If I lived here, I'd be ordering off Instacart too. So we literally just started, and we're only $10 under uh, what we ended at just doing Grubhub. Now we drop off this Chick-fil-A, and we get this Grubhub that's actually pretty decent, $19 for seven miles. That's actually a great order. We're going to drop that one off. But yes, Grubhub alone obviously is no match for multi-apping with all four Infinity Stones, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, and now since we added Grubhub, we're stronger than ever. I got this order to the ice cream shop, which I really hate going to this place because it's basically a ghetto gas station and you just gotta go to the ice cream cooler, grab the stuff, and walk out. It's kind of weird, but let's go do it. I realized that I used this clip literally 20 seconds ago of me driving, but I didn't record a whole lot of driving content today because I was jamming out to some Almond Brothers band. We're gonna avoid that long drive through line and go to the lobby. So we got our second grub of the day, $9 for five miles. Not too bad, we're gonna go pick it up. It's about 8.30 p.m. right now, so orders are kind of slowing down, but it's all good, we're gonna keep going. So we just had a 15 minute wait at this Red Robin. Not too good, but hopefully this high payout can make up for it. So we made a total of $124.72 in four hours for an hourly rate of $31.18. Which as you can see is much better than when we just did Grubhub, us only making $16.03 which is pretty bad. So here's the orders we did. As you can see, we only did seven orders to make $124, which is mainly due to that Instacart, but we had a lot of high paying orders here today. We got a 45, we got a 19, we got a 27. Solid day, definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you in the next one. Grubhub Perks give you deals on all the foods that make you want to win. When they came up with the idea for this commercial, it had to have gone something like this. Yeah, so uh, welcome everybody. Um, welcome to this Grubhub headquarters meeting. So I brought you here today because, you know, DoorDash is the, the most popular delivery app out there. Uh, how do we uh, make ourselves better than them? How do we, how do we surpass them? Because I know everybody just uses DoorDash these days. Uh, anybody got any ideas? Yeah, I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. We ain't got no ideas over here, so maybe if we just made our ads as weird as possible, people would actually talk about them, and that would get our company out there.